Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This being the first tech related video for the channel, I thought I'd cover something close to my heart. Phone customization, specifically wallpapers, and how you can achieve a look similar to my own. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips and weekly movie reviews. Frankly speaking, not everybody is going to have the time or the patience to build their own custom wallpapers, especially from the ground up. Therefore, let's begin with a few easy to use apps which will provide you with similar results before we look at how I did it. But if you simply can't wait, feel free to jump to the timestamp on screen. The first app being Live Wallpapers. And as the name suggests, it houses a large collection of live wallpapers. With a wide variety of categories to pick from, I'm sure you'll find something suitable for you. This is a great app to add life to your home screens and being free to use, I highly recommend you check it out. App number two, Pixel 4D Wallpaper. Housing a vast selection of 4D wallpapers, this app will surely have you spinning. Taking a flat image, separating it into different layers, and then intertwining it into your phone's sensors, expect to have your mind blown by this parallax effect. App number three, Wallpaper Master. For those of you into anime movies and games, this is the app for you. Comprised of animated images and short videos, this one will surely have your interest. Now that that is out of the way, let's get on with the main event. Let's talk about how I achieved my wallpaper results. Step 1. Find an image that you want to add effects to. Could be cars, wildlife, anime, comics, or even games, it's totally up to you. Either way, the same steps apply. If you get stuck here, I recommend installing a wallpaper app, such as anime wallpapers, or just crawl the web until you find an image that you like and suits your tastes. Step 2. Make sure you download the app Story Z. This is what will allow you to add life to your lifeless wallpaper, turning your still images into video files of their own. Loading up the app, you'll be able to browse other users' publicly shared creations. I highly recommend you take your time and have a look around. When creating your own live wallpaper, this app provides you with four different methods to use. There's ripples, where you can add wave-like effects, overlays to add animated elements to your images, effects to transform and manipulate your images and finally backdrop which allows you to combine videos into your wallpapers. Let's briefly explore some of these methods and see what quick results we can get. The ripple method. Simply choose the direction you want the waves to move and draw that path. Here I'm drawing the path on the sky to give the illusion that the birds and clouds are moving. But remember always pin down your areas that you don't want to move otherwise the whole image will move in a ripple effect so make sure you pin down the areas that you don't want to move effects allowing you to freely transform your image through bulges pinches and even swirls and twists i'm sure you'll find something of interest with this one there's even a shake function backdrop Allowing you to take any video file and placing it behind your chosen image, this function allows for some truly creative outcomes. This isn't my best example, but Broly alongside a beamer simply shows there is no limit. And finally, overlay. My favorite of the four. This allows for a variety of several effects to be layered on top of each other to outcome in some marvelous results. With over 30 different animation categories, covering anything from starlight, smoke and even festive seasons, just simply pick your favourite effect and apply it on screen. This will keep you tinkering for a while, but if you really want to take things to the next level, I recommend you use the mask option to add a 3D element to your wallpapers. Masking allows for sections to be excluded from the overlays, giving the illusion of depth to your wallpapers. With an easy to use user interface, this app will allow you to have complete control of your customization. 
But for those perfectionists out there, I highly suggest you use a stylus to get up and close when masking. Once you're satisfied with the final product, just click save and pick your resolution. I have to say the free version only goes up to 720p but the premium membership allows you to go straight to 4K. Step 3. Setting a video wallpaper. Personally I use video wallpaper. This app allows you to select any video in your gallery and set it as your wallpaper. So now simply select your newly created file and we're done. You now have a custom 4K live wallpaper for you to show off to all your friends. And remember, because it's a video file, for supported phones you can set it as your lock screen video without the use of this app. Thanks a lot for tuning in, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this and weekly movie reviews. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.